It's the most wonderful time of the year. Do you remember that commercial from Staples when they would do the spec to school specials and they would play that song? It is the most wonderful time of the year. The kids are going back to school. This is attorney Nicole Christie from the Christie Law Firm where we work hard to make families stronger. So today and in the next couple of videos, I wanna to talk to you about what it means to go back to school and DCF. So there's many different things that occur when kids go back to school. It's a, it is a great time of the year. They're moving on with their education. The schedule gets to be a little bit more succinct but it also raises some concerns when the kids go back to school and they are surrounded by mandated reporters. And what that means is that teachers and school officials and counselors, even coaches, are mandated reporters. If they see some kind of child safety concern or child abuse or neglect concern, they have to report it to DCF. The key thing to remember is that they don't have to know if it's true or not. They don't have to know if everything is accurate about what's being said. All they need to know is that there is this concern and we need to report it. So when that happens, DCF takes the report and they determine whether or not they should accept the report and what kind of report is it. So there's two kinds. There is the family assessment response, which is called a FAR or there's an actual DCF investigation for abuse or neglect. And the difference between the two is that the family assessment response is just that. We're going to go assess the family, see if they need any services, and then close out the case. If it's an investigation, they are actually investigating whether or not there was abuse or neglect. And so it's important to know the difference whenever a DCF worker should come to your house for an investigation, you should ask them what kind of investigation is this. So keep that in mind whenever you're dealing with DCF and investigations. And again, with the school year starting, they're gonna, there will be more reports. So keep that in mind when you're talking with DCF. You should know the difference if it's a family assessment response no investigation for abuse or neglect is involved, but if it's an actual investigation, be aware that they can make a finding of abuse or neglect if it warrants that. So stay tuned for additional videos where we will be talking about school and DCF. Take care.